so the question is in the given condition illustrated in the figure the drainage will occur from we can see that this is the maxillary sinus and usually all sinuses are filled with air and they have their own dining mucosa however in this sinus you can see that there is some amount of fluid that is present up to a particular level and this level this fluid has to be drained in a particular way so that there is only air that is present in the sinus the main function of the maxillary or rather all sinuses is two main functions is to decrease the weight of the skull and secondly in order to resonate the air so that the voice production that is speech uh, that is produced from the larynx is resonated and is thrown out at a particular decibel so for the maxillary sinus what they are trying to ask is where is the opening of the maxillary sinus so that there is drainage from that particular region so as we all know the maxillary sinus opens into the middle meatus on the lateral wall of the nose so the answer of here is middle meatus this is a very very easy way the mnemonic that you see over here is high fame which indicates the various openings that are present in the middle meatus on the lateral wall of the nose so you have the hiatus semilar high fame so hiatus semilaris infundibulum frontal sinus anterior and mid middle ethmoidal sinus and the maxillary sinus so uh, if we have to look at the figure on the of the lateral wall of the nose we can see that this is the maxilla this is the pre maxilla that is present over here then you have the lateral wall of the nose is divided into three by three bones and you have three separate regions which are present under these three bones so you have the superior in concha the middle concha and the inferior concha and below each of these concha are meatuses the inferior concha is a bone of its own whereas the superior and the middle concha are a part of the ethmoidal bone okay so now looking over here on top of the superior concha you have the base of the skull and this is the sphenoid bone so over here you have a recess that is a small uh, place and that is called as the sphenoethmoidal recess below the middle concha you have the middle meatus whereas the below the superior concha you have the superior meatus and below the inferior concha you have the inferior meatus in the region of the middle meatus you have a reach you have what is called as an obulla followed by a semilunar region this bulla is called as bulla ethmoidalis and this is called as the hiatus semilunaris so in this hiatus semilunaris you have three openings one anterior one middle and one posterior whereas in the ethmoidal bulla also you have certain opening now the sphenoid sinus opens into the sphenoethmoidal recess so the draining of the sphenoid sinus will occur in the sphenoethmoidal recess whereas the superior concha sorry the superior meatus has opening into of the anterior ethmoid then so or the superior ethmoid then after that you have the middle meatus in the middle meatus you have the uh, bulla ethmoidalis and you have the hiatus semilunaris so the middle ethmoidal cells open into the bulla ethmoidalis whereas the hiatus semilunaris shows the opening of the posterior ethmoidal as as well as the frontal sinus and the maxillary sinus lastly the inferior meatus shows the opening of the nasolacrimal duct